Hello! Faithful viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And today, I'm reviewing the Star Day Monsters, The Empty Planet. Um, this is after this begins with uh, Star Day and again, Mr. Smith do a scam of the entire planet since he, uh, or I can't remember if it's Star Day uh, or Mr. Smith found this uh, alien. Uh, Freaksy uh, thing or energy, but Mr. McCamry find it and Sarah Daniels has a uh, Clyde and Ronnie go back home since a school night. And there were some like, good moments with the uh, both characters, uh, parents with the uh, Ronnie's dad, the uh, just check up on her and see how she is. And uh, Clyde's mother just uh, looking at Clyde's uh, drawing. Of uh, the vulture people from my last episode, and just having a bit of a, a talk uh, with them. But in the morning, things are very wrong since it seems like uh, Clyde and Ronnie are the only people on that abandoned road. But later on, they start thinking they're probably the only. Uh, People that's on the planet. In Mr. Smith, is an in there. Corn Ron seems like he's like a take take an hour or something. Like the computer parts are are shown, but the screen is blank. And there's something wrong with the, like uh, some technology, no signal or anything. And yet to decide to. Brainstorm what might be uh, going on, and yes, it is a Kalani episode. So, if you're a fan of that, you might enjoy this. And uh, later on, if do you find some else to say, Kate and G Gavin? And yeah, they sort of scare him away when uh, they they just uh, tell him about uh, aliens and thinking he's probably aliens and that make get uh, probably makes sense. Why well, yeah, he's the only other person left on the planet? He does that runs away. And later on, a uh, client running. They find himself in front of the two big uh, robots, one yellow, one red. Uh, luckily, uh, Gavin was able to save uh, Ronnie from one of them by chucking a bin at it. And uh, they did uh, me be up again, and yeah, Clyde and Ronnie is a brainstorming and saying uh, some stuff that the uh, Gavin the Rain know about, or yeah, uh, uh, tell him about it. Uh, yeah, when uh, Gavin turned away, his mom died, his father left, and he's with his uh, aunt and uncle. But wait, wait, what, wait, what uh, Clyde Ronnie says, they do uh, have more stuff that a kid would. Uh, have like a game system or a DVDs or something like that. So, yeah. And, uh, to climb around, you can just get the idea that maybe they're doing the ones uh, on a plan because of when they're doing uh, grounding grounded them and the robots don't probably want to get in trouble with them since, well, they're basically the uh, space cops. So, Mm. So, uh, Clyde Ronnie thinking maybe the robots are after them, so they just tell uh, uh, Gavin to stay away from them. And when the robots do uh, show up again, they just uh, scan the two and heard the signal or just the uh, uh, code message or whatever with the upside down red triangle. It has something to do with them. Uh, let's see, Rose starts speaking uh, English and saying they want air, then saying they want the sun. And let this uh, get uh, Ron, Ron realizing they mean uh, D air and D sun as in royalty. And I kind of get Clyde's dead uh, joke by saying that you can take uh, Prince Charles and Prince Philip too. <sighs> yeah. And, uh, 
Terry McLeod and Ryan is really that they're after Gavin and they do eventually uh, find him in this uh, uh, ammo sensor area or something. Uh, but when they bring the rocks to Gavin, the rocks can't see see him and throw his uh, mom egg uh, gave him a dio bamperner a bamper bio dampener I'm not I'm saying right which was uh, introduced in that way bride so people see not know what it is um when the guy takes off the bio dampener the robots see him and give him the message again in turn and spoilers to know that Gavin is a prince. Yeah, his uh, dad was a uh, was king of alien world. Um, yeah, he he turned out that uh, Gavin's the only one that can bring the humans back to there's a uh, countdown with the uh, if he didn't dead uh, tell her off to bring the humans uh, back from this uh, pocket dimension or something, they'd be lost forever. So uh, that happened and. He just uh, named uh, Clyde, Laura Clyde, and Ronnie, Lady, Lady, Lady Ronnie before he goes. And everyone's back, and yeah, it turns out that there's a bit of a time difference. Or some of the people that feel the time difference. And Ronnie's dad is a questioner where she's been. But certainly, and Clyde do show up, and Ronnie just said. Uh, that he's helping Clyde with his with homework. And uh, yeah, that's done with uh, the tree that's uh, talking and uh, turning. That's uh, saying that that's probably one of uh, the, the, the two that's up. But uh, ain't investigating because he's doing what happened to her, what happened to them. But yeah, with the events of today, I think they show they can uh, handle. Uh, Doing the eight of this game by themselves. Um, Saturday just ordered pizza for him for for a big like, award. Um, yeah, so and there, yeah, I think the decent episode was like so more of a of Clyde and Ronnie's uh, character. And it's like when Clyde just uh, admits that he makes that uh, stupid joke when he's scared, and. Both thinking there's uh, like the tagalons, there's something special about them. Like, Sergeant is a time traveler, and Luke is a boy genius, so they're just uh, the extra baggage of the group. Um, that's what I'm going on between the two. And I'm like, uh, when uh, they're putting up and Clyde is apologizing, if uh, I'm probably like to Ronnie if they ever read. Uh, a mistake and just uh, gave her a kiss on the cheek. And he did mention a few times that probably the two of them left on the planet. And the, I don't know if it might be some like a subtext for, for romantic guess stuff, you know, saying, but I don't know. Yeah, I do think the, the characters do have like, good, uh, a good chemistry with each other. And uh, well, awesome. Yeah, the, the kid playing a, uh, or just a, uh, a Gavin did a little whiny. Was keeps saying something special about him. And that and uh, but I don't know. And uh, I do like guess on the music, and it's like. When uh, Ryan thinks Steve's the only one that's on planet is knocking the door, and when and when he opens it, it's Clyde and the music says uplift them and that. I think it's good, but I do think uh, the next episode is a uh, better than this with the tree again uh, split up into different uh, times by this uh, guy who takes orders from a parrot. Yeah, they never explain. Who he is. If anybody knows, please uh, put down in the comment section. I would love to hear. I would want to know who uh, that person is, what his deal is, as well, for years now. 
Ugh. I wonder if they would have explained the who he is if uh, the show got like I got in Florida between five or got season six. Ugh. Anyway, uh, this is it. Azu, see you guys later.